favourite. So today I have for you a video which is a bit of a mix of August and July. I did a July monthly favourites but unfortunately I feel like I've left some stuff which I love during July and I totally forgot to mention it and I don't know why I was thinking it was already August because it was like the end of the month and I filmed it a couple of days before the end of the month. Anyway, long story short, there's a bit of stuff from July and a bit of stuff from August so I hope you enjoy this, there's a lot to get through so we're going to jump straight in. follow me on snapchat on instagram and all the rest of it i will link it all on the screen below now so yeah i was in dubai for my summer holiday bit of a big debacle because i was supposed to go to bali i didn't end up going i only went to dubai but yeah i prepared myself for a lot of frizz and humidity on this crazy hair of mine so my hair is naturally pretty frizzy and curly and when I go somewhere where there's a lot of humidity, um, like Bali or like Dubai, so Dubai was 70% humidity, it was insane, it was so hot and so humid. I thought, you know, I'm going to have a big frizzy mop on my head and I was mentally sort of prepared for that, as prepared as you can be, to have terrible hair in all your holiday pictures. And there's nothing that bugs me more than crazy hair. So I was prepared for it, but I tried to avoid it as much as possible. So I did get an anti-frizz treatment done by Karastas. I got it done at a salon in London. I will link the details in the info box below. It was a brilliant treatment. It was so good. It's one of those treatments that they kind of do specifically for your hair. So they mix the formula specifically for you. And it was so, so, so good, honestly. Like my hair was so good. It was so tamed, it was so soft, and it was before I cut it. So the ends were pretty like dry and dead and the treatment honestly worked so well. My hair was so nice. So yeah, it was really good. So I will link the details below. We've got dehydrated hair. It's a brilliant treatment to try. It only takes about 15 minutes. They spray the thing onto your hair and they leave it on. They put some heat and yeah, and then you get a beautiful blow dry. So it was really, really good. But yeah, apart from that treatment, I wanted to take some products with me while I was away to make sure my hair was still under control. And the first product I'm going to talk about is this one, which is the Keratine Thermique Glassage Thermo Seal. I have no idea if I've said that right, but yeah, it's by Kerastase. I will link all the products that I talk about below and they will pop up on the screen at some point. And yeah, I've done a full blog post on this and I talk about it in another video, so I'm not going to ramble on too much about it, but it's such a good product, honestly. Um, it's really lightweight, so it doesn't weigh your hair down. It lets you kind of hold your curl or whatever else you're doing to your hair. It's really good. It's like a milky sort of texture. I will show you. And it smells so good. It smells like something like coconutty, and it honestly makes your hair smell so nice. I love it. But yeah, it's quite like um, milky. I don't know if you can see it there. But yeah, it's a very kind of milky texture, so it's very lightweight. And yeah, this just kept my hair totally under control and it makes it so easy to brush your hair through it because it just makes it so soft and silky. Um, Staying on the topic of hair and frizz, my next monthly favorite is this one, the Orbe Anti-Humidity Spray. And so many bloggers talk about Orbe and um, I don't know, I'd always been a bit reluctant to trying it. I thought it was a bit too expensive, I'd seen it in Space MK, the packaging was beautiful, but I was just like, I can't justify spending so much money on something for my hair. It's so, so good. I love how it smells. Let me just spray some now. Oh my god, it smells so good. It's so lightweight, it doesn't make your hair kind of crispy or sticky, which a lot of anti-humidity sprays do. I don't think it has any hold, at least I didn't feel like it did, so I had to use hairspray, which combining the two made it slightly sticky, but it was still okay. It didn't make my hair dirty or greasy or oily, so I really liked it, and it did what it says in the tin. It stopped my hair from getting frizzy. So I think this and this combined were literally my saviors while I was out on holiday. 
the topic of a holiday, um, I discovered a new sunscreen for the body. So I am really fussy about sunscreen. I always like to have my skin super protected and I hate to get too tanned as well. It's just something I don't like. And also I think it's so bad for your skin. So I always like to use a pretty high SPF and this one is a 30. I use a 50 on my face, but 30 is okay for the body. And the problem with using high SPF on your body is that most of them are designed for children and I find that they are so kind of white and sticky and they just leave this white film all over your skin and you just end up looking so weird on the beach. Uh, I decided to give this one a go. Um, I tried it at the store and I just put a little bit on my hand and it seemed really lightweight and it seemed like it didn't sort of leave a white film. I don't know if you can see it there, but it melts really nicely into the skin. I love how it smells. It's from Hawaiian Tropic and their stuff usually smells amazing. And it's got SPF 30 and it's also moisturizing, which because some SPFs can leave your skin either super, super oily or they can just leave it feeling a bit dry. On the topic of moisturizers, for my face I always find it really hard to find a moisturizer but I finally found a my match. And this is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream and as you can see it's almost pretty much over. I really like this, it's got SPF 50 and again I face the same problem with SPF for my face. Um, a lot of SPFs for your face that have got very high SPF leave a white film on your skin and they can also be pretty greasy and oily and I've already got very oily skin. So if the SPF is too oily or greasy, I just literally end up looking like a light bulb full of grease and my makeup is just melting off and yeah, not a good look. So, but I've done a full blog post on this one so I will leave a link below to my blog post so you can go check it out. The smell is a bit awkward, it does smell a bit sort of medical. Um, I'm not a big fan of the smell and it is pretty scented so if you don't like scented products this might not be one for you but otherwise it's a really really good um, sun protection I've never sort of thought of using the Elizabeth Arden range um, it's the 8 hour cream range and I'd heard it was really good but I always thought it was more of like older people so like for my mum but yeah it's actually really nice and I would really recommend it if you're looking for a high SPF for your face Another brilliant thing I found for skin were these masks by Mask Bar. They are the um, vitamin C brightening sheet masks. Oh my god, such a discovery. So basically I was going away on holiday and I was going to go for a wedding to Bali and I wanted something that was just going to brighten my skin because I thought I'm going to be super jet lagged after a ridiculously kind of 20 long hour flight. My skin is just gonna be kind of drained and dry and not looking its best. And I wanted to look kind of nice and beautiful and radiant for the wedding. So I thought, why not use a vitamin C mask? Cause I've heard they're so brightening and they kind of give you that lit from within glow and your skin just looks amazing. And I've heard sheet masks are the best for this kind of, kind of flash masks that make an instant effect. So, um, I checked out Lisa Eldridge's recommendations because she always recommends the best products. And she recommended some from like SK2 I think and Shishado and those were like really really pricey so I didn't want to spend that much. But then she recommended like this one which you can get in Boots which is the um, mask bar one. And oh my god they are so 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 good. They honestly just make your skin look instantly brightened. It's literally just a sheet mask that you put on your face, you need to lie down, leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and it just literally makes your skin look beautiful and radiant and it makes the biggest difference. And also, marks from old blemishes, it honestly fades them away and your skin just looks so kind of seamless and everything looks one colour and yeah, it was so so good. Um, and it didn't feel awkward, I hate sheet masks actually because I don't like the feeling of it on my skin. But this one's really lightweight, so it was good. And what I do, because um, I heard from a beautician recommend this, is once you finish using the sheet mask, just squeeze it out and that remainder of the serum that it has, because they're usually really soaked, so they have a lot of excess serum, take that serum and just rub it into your face, giving yourself a massage, and oh my god, it's so good. It did feel a bit sticky, so I did wash my face after letting it kind of sit there for about 10-15 minutes. Um, but yeah, oh my god, my skin looked so, so, so beautiful. 
topic of skincare, I thought this deserved a mention. This is the Clarins Blue Orchid Face Treatment Oil. I've spoken about this in other videos, but I honestly just love this product so much. And it comes in like a nice glass bottle. And when I was out in Dubai, unfortunately, this fell from my dressing table and it broke. Which, yeah, it's not ideal that it comes in a glass bottle for traveling. But um, I was like, okay, you know what, when I go back to London, I'll just get it there. I could have just popped into a Sephora, but we didn't happen to go past any, and I just thought, it's fine, I'll just get it when I go back to London. So I stopped using it for maybe, I'd say about 10 days, and oh my god, my skin just felt so dehydrated, I started getting blemishes, and I just realized how much good it's been doing to my skin. It's um, specially designed for dehydrated skin, and at the beginning, I was quite hesitant to use an oil because my skin is naturally pretty oily. So I thought, you know, an oil is just going to make it, you know, terribly, terribly oily. But actually, it hasn't. It's just balanced out my skin so well. My skin doesn't feel oily or greasy when I use it. It just honestly has made my skin really nice, plump, moisturized without making it greasy or oily and it's actually balanced it out and I find that when I put it on and I have a blemish, it actually makes the blemish disappear. So it's really, really good and I really, really like this product. So if you don't have it in your life, you definitely need it. Moving on to makeup, my favorite lip combo is one that I've kind of brought back from the ashes. So as you can see there, it's a bit worse for wear, this pedestal, um, because I hadn't used it in so long. I'd kind of fallen out of love with it. Um, I just felt it was too brown. But oh my god, with this whole trend of like brown lips coming back in the 90s look, I've just fallen in love with it again. And yeah, it's been my favorite lip combo. So it's this, um, Boldly Bare Lip Pencil from MAC. This one's pretty new. I've mentioned it in another video. And it's sort of like a nudie, pinky, brownie shade. And I kind of just fill in all my lips with this, but just around the outline, just because I feel that I always need like a darker color around my outline, just to make my lips a little more plump, because otherwise my contours on my lips are not very defined. Um, I was using this one, which is the Rimmel Cappuccino, and it's a very kind of brownie shade, as you can see there. It's the one at the bottom. It's like a brownie shade, and I've been using it, I'm wearing it now, and if you kind of fade it in with your lipstick, it doesn't look too harsh. And yeah, and then I've been using, um, as a lip color, this one, which is like literally almost about to go to the bin. But it's the color Sis, and it's a satin one from MAC. And yeah, it's been like the best lip combo ever. It just gives you kind of a nudie, brownie, 90s, Cindy Crawford looking lip. And last but most definitely not least, a discovery I sort of rediscovered. So the last time I bought a beauty blender, it came in with the solid soap that um, it comes with, like um, the one from their own brand, from the beauty blender brand. And I used it once and yeah, I liked it, but whatever, I forgot about it and I was just using normal kind of um, shower gel to clean my brushes. But I recently started using this one again. It's kind of a hard soap that comes in like a, this kind of round circular shape. And oh my god, it's so good. It leaves your brushes so clean. I feel like I need to use a lot less soap to clean my brushes because in just one go, I don't have to kind of wash them, rinse them, and then wash them again. In one go, they are super, super sparkly clean. So yeah, I've been really loving this one. It's a huge time saver when you're washing brushes. And when you've got as many brushes as I do, trust me, you need that in your life. So that's it guys for this month's monthly favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. There was a bit of everything, a bit of beauty, a bit of skincare, a bit of blush, blush? Brush cleaning and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below what has been your favorite this month and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do one video a week but I'm gonna start doing two a week so I don't want you to miss any. So hit that subscribe button, it's totally free. You'll just get a notification every time I upload a new video. And yeah, don't forget to follow me on my social media. I'll leave the links on the screen and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, bye.